if you look beyond today, Rao, what does the next frontier of voice AI look like for Nirvana or what Nirvana is trying to enable? And I would say maybe five years down the line, uh, even if you had to make some hypothesis on on what kind of evolution and and advancements that we will see in some of these technologies, also yeah. in user behavior, because it's it's both ways, right? When technologies like this come in, which are like a complete new way of doing things, and then both yeah. sides start meeting, and you will probably see some 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 kind of convergence. Where what's the kind of vision that you really see, and what are some of the innovations that you are excited about building? Yeah. So I'll, I'll take this in three parts. One is the 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 pro, the technology that we've built, right? So our ASR models uh, is something that is very mature when it comes to Indian languages. We've taken some very key architectural decisions here. So I, these are models we've built from scratch. These are not fine-tuned models uh, taken from elsewhere. Uh, so we had a lot of flexibility to make design choices specifically for India. So we built models that... Um, uh, are extremely small. So our our models are 20 times smaller than Whisper Medium, uh, OpenAI's Whisper Medium model. Very interesting. It gives us a lot of flexibility on where we can deploy this. It gives us a lot of cost efficiencies. It's really the Jugadu ASR uh, for India, right? Like it's been built specifically so it can work very quick, very quickly, uh, cheap and at scale. Uh, and we collected our own proprietary data sets, right? Uh, you know, that we use to train these models. These two things are, were major aspects. The third is actually we are able to make our uh, models available, and you may not uh, be happy to hear this, but uh, on CPUs in addition to GPUs, right? So, okay. so uh, that, that means we can deploy at all types of different scales and sizes and environments for the different types of uh, uh, enterprises, right? So a lot of innovation has been done, India-style innovation, not, awesome. you know, uh, you know, next voice to voice model, etc. Uh, all of that is what we have done now. And we're looking to bring that uh, thinking uh, and capability to other parts of the stack in the in the current voice architecture, which is a three part architecture. The end result there would be that over the next, let's say, 24 months, we're able to deploy voice agents that are highly cost effective, that are highly accurate in addition uh, and can work in all sorts of environments. 